Okay, you guys, I am back. Sorry about that. As you guys heard me, I explained what my phone just likes to just, I don't know why. It just turns off and it hadn't even been 30 minutes. At 30 minutes, it starts a new video, but sometimes it will just turn off. But I also, like I told you, I didn't, um, I forgot to put it on, um, airplane mode. So it's on airplane mode now. So hopefully that just takes care of the problem. I don't have to keep explaining myself. Oh, I hate that. I just look up and my damn video's off. I'm like, oh. Anyway, I think in the last video I was talking about what I'm doing here and I said, uh, this is really a fun project because we're having double your fun, uh, double your fun, which means we're working in our art journal or altered art journal which is this one here and then we're working in our art journal slash junk journal and we're just using the same papers in both and you'll see how different it looks even um using the same stuff but it always turns out different so that's really cool also it's double your fun because i'm using my jelly prints for the backgrounds but then i'm also using um i'm using jelly prints but i'm also using scrapbook paper so i'm intermixing the two so I think that's turning out really cool. Uh, let's see something. Yeah, that might look good right there. That does. Okay. Especially Jane Davenport. I love her scrapbook paper because a lot of her watercoloring backgrounds. And so that just looks so good with the, um, her watercolor backgrounds look so good mixed with, um, jelly printing. And I did have a hard time tearing up Jane's, um, book just to use it as background paper, but I think it's super important to have cool paper for your background paper. It's what makes everything. So... That's why I don't mind ripping it up and using it because for one, I'm using it. Number two, you're using it for something cool and it's going to be in, you're going to still have it. It's, it's going to be in your project. So that's how I see it. All right. We haven't ran it, we haven't etched off this page yet. Let's do this. So don't be worried about using your stuff. Um, use it because... You bought it, and that's what you bought it for, was to use it. So, and you'll still have the stuff. It's just going to be in a project. Which is better than sitting in sitting in your craft room or your art studio space doing nothing. Now you can look at it in a book. In a background. Okay. So now we have everything pasted down here. Um, the next thing we want to do... is we want to use some napkins. That's another layer we're gonna do. While we got our stickiness still, let's do some, we're gonna go back to this page over here, our first page. Make sure you guys are still there. Yes, you are, thank goodness. Okay, so this is the napkin I'm gonna use. I'm going to, it'll be, I'm gonna be off on the side, but I'm gonna take a paintbrush like this I'm going to wet the paintbrush and then I'm going to go along the edge right here. And what that does is it makes a little nice little perforated edge so that you can be in complete control over what part of the napkin you want to use. I'm going to put a bunch of flowers down here on the bottom because this is where, um, this is where I'm going to also have my mushrooms. So this is going to be a nice base. For my mushrooms, for my mushrooms to go on top of the flowers, so the flowers will be peekabooing through, and then I will put her on top of the mushrooms. So, I think that's that's the vision in my head. I'm not sure about that. I know I want flowers all on the bottom. So let's just do that. There's always a lot going up on in this head of mine. <laughs> too much. I mean, too much. I'm also a knitter, so I knit. And um, I have some videos on knitting, like projects that I do and 
giveaways and stuff like that. So I just always have way too much going on in my brain. Knitting projects, mixed media projects. It's crazy. It's crazy. But I'm good. I wouldn't have it any other way. I like being busy. I like being creative. I like creating. I love creating something from nothing. I love to take some yarn, a ball of yarn, and make a big, huge poncho or boho cardigan or a shawl. I think that is the bomb. I love to take something like this, which is, um, do I want to put that in the middle right there? Um, take a blank page and create like this whole little world from nothing. I think that's magical to be able to do that. So I think it's fun. All right, in the middle of these two, I'm gonna put this Eiffel Tower in there. I wasn't gonna do that at first, but I'm like, ooh, that's gonna look cool. It's like, girl, put that Eiffel Tower in there. Go for it. There we go. Okay, make sure you guys are still there. Perfect. Doesn't that look cool, you guys? Trying to see if you guys can get closer to see it, but anyway. All right, so now let's go to the other page and we need to throw some flowers in through here. Hmm, I have these flowers with a black background. Now we're gonna save that for something else. All right, we got some more flowers going. What are those right here? I wanted, to do, I wanted to use those ones in the black background, but I just, I don't know, I'm not seeing it for this page. So, what the heck is this? Oh, okay, never mind. That was peeling up a little bit. Okay. And do I worry about wrinkles? Heck no. We welcome wrinkles. The way I like to do art, you guys, there's no mistakes. Okay? And if you do make a mistake, you can cover that crap up with some paper. <laughs> you cover it with some paper, you can cover it up with some paint. And you're not ever going to mess anything up. Look how much layers and stuff we're doing. How in the hell are you supposed to mess something up? Don't even worry about it. This is this still sticky? Sticky enough. Okay. All right, it's not sticky enough. Let's just throw some, lay some glue down here a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I, I welcome wrinkles. Um, that's just gonna add some beautiful, beautiful texture. So we are all good with the wrinkles. And the less perfect your work is, the better. It just looks better, in my opinion. I think it looks better. It looks more natural. Um, and it takes the stress and pressure off yourself and allows you to have more fun. And that's how we're doing this, right? To have fun okay so now we have um all of our flowers down here um and it's kind of hard to tell but let me there we go so you can see when this dries you'll see the flowers on the napkins it's a little bit hard to see but there we go same thing here there's our napkins 
And then there's all of our collage bits. This definitely needs to dry. Okay, am I doing anything else right now with this? I think this is all I wanted to do right now on this page. Yes, okay, so we need to let this dry. Let's go quickly over to, because we've got about 20 minutes left on this, these two videos. Um, let me throw this on the ground. Well, not throw, but place on the ground. Oh, we might have to kind of throw. All right, sorry about that. That'll probably crack the rest of my book. Okay, no major, I can repair it anyway. Okay, so now let's go to our, um, remember this, this is our um, insert for our art journal slash junk journal, right? All right, so let's go to this and let's do our collage bits in here. Before we do that, we're gonna add some wax paper. I always keep wax paper right beside me for my art, for my art journaling. Now, if I'm just using, um, if I'm just going to use paint and sprays and stuff like that, I don't care about, I don't care if I get paint on another page because paint on another page for me starts another page. But the reason I do this is because of the glue part of the collaging and the collaging is sticky and pages will stick together and I don't want that so I do want to protect my pages from sticking together okay so here we go so same process as we did before let's just start taking some jelly prints and let's start going We, I think we're going to something a little different. I don't know if we're going to use napkins in this. I think we're just going to use the jelly prints mixed with the, um, no, we are going to do napkins. Never mind. I think we'll see. Let me not even say anything. Just let me shut up and create as we go. There we go. creating on the fly. Yeah, that looks good. I really have absolutely no plan for, I really have no plan for, um, for my art journal slash junk journal, this right here that we're working on. Like my other, like my art journal page, I kind of was telling you which way we're going and all that. I really don't know on this. I just thought let's create a background because we already have everything out. So we might as well go for gluing our bits down and creating another another um, background so I'll kind of start thinking about that when you're when you got your stuff out you picked out all your papers for your background that you want to use and all that and your color scheme or whatever you're doing you already did all that work right so just go ahead and uh, work in two journals at once work in an art journal slash junk journal work in two different art journals um, you're doubling your fun, and uh, I think it's cool. And you're getting more done. Not that it's about getting more done. It's just about having fun, but you are getting more done. <laughs> so. Okay. I almost want to use that whole page like that. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, let's use the whole damn page. Let's just use the whole page. I love this page. I think it's beautiful. 
like that tealish green color. I just think it's gorgeous. You know, we can come in a little closer on this. Let me see about getting myself in focus here. Nope, that has to come down. There we go. Let's see. There we go. Now we can come in a little closer. I'm not working with such a big book. And this is a little bit of a challenge for me to work small. Small to me is working in this um, traveler's notebook, these pages. Uh, you guys see me, I like using those big old books all the time. So it is a challenge for me to work small. To me, this is small. Which is a good challenge because I need to, you know, just challenge myself with different things. And I advise you to challenge yourself too with different things. And you're always, it'll keep you learning and at the same time it keeps you from being bored too. Because I can get bored pretty quickly. Um, and that's why I love mixed media. It can, you can use, like I'm doing, I'm using the same exact um, papers and I'm not getting bored. I mean, it's just fun. Um, and it's not going to turn out anything like the other page I just did. So it's really cool. You can never create the same page when you're doing mixed media. Use the same products, same color, same everything. You're still never going to be able to make the same page. It'll turn out completely different. People won't even know you use the same pages. Not that it matters if, anyway, but that's just how different it's going to turn out. Oops. Need to make sure that's glued down. Well, let me look at my time situation. Make sure you guys are still there. Yes, you are. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we have all this glued down. Let's... Do I want to do that or not? I don't know. I just don't... I want to use this napkin so bad. Isn't it gorgeous? I just... I'm not seeing what to do with that. So I'm not going to use it. This is, it's just like in between a dryer sheet and a piece of tissue and a napkin. And um, isn't it gorgeous? It's very vintage. And you get on a roll from where? Uh, Daiso for $1.50. And it's just really cool stuff. You can see through it just like a napkin, but it's kind of thick like a dryer sheet. It's just really cool. And I like using it. Um, because you can still see through it. So you can still see the layers through it. So it's just like a napkin. Napkins are beautiful because, you know, they add they add extra stuff to whatever the print is on the napkin. But you can also see through the napkin. So you can see layers. So that's what I love about napkins. That's what I'm loving about this stuff. And I love how, like, vintage it looks. Like how, like, it's like Paris. Looks like some Parisian writing and like you bought it in France or something. It's very pretty. Oops. All right, so we're gonna lay that right in through here. See how we just used the same papers and how different the page we just, the background we just created looks than this one? So sand doesn't, it's cool. Another thing, most of these, um, the jelly prints I chose out of my jelly print assortments, but the rest of this stuff was sitting in, I'll show you. The rest of it was sitting in one of these. I keep one of these by me and um, like all my bits that I'm using in a project, I throw them in one of these things I got from Dollar Tree. But this was a bunch of stuff sitting in here, all the, besides the jelly prints, it was a bunch of stuff I just picked out from here. So always keep a little basket of bits from your last project. And you can just include those in your next project. And maybe you don't even have to go through and pull out more stuff. So that's what I did. Okay, we got about 10 more minutes. Um, let me see if I want to add anything else. And I know I do. What else do I want to add? Okay. 
something I wanted to add. I'm looking at this napkin over here. Um, okay. Isn't this napkin gorgeous? Look how much good stuff it has on there. A lot of goodies. I'm going to put this rose over here in the corner. Just thought it'd be pretty. Okay. And we never know what's going to be covered up. Okay, because I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put a flap on this. I'm going to put a pocket. But I'm not sure the pocket's going to go over here on the side or if the pocket's going to go. I'm not sure. So I just don't even worry about it. I just, you know, add some stuff that I want to add and whatever gets covered up gets covered up. I don't worry about it. Sorry for the silence, you guys. I was focusing on trimming out this napkin. See, it's a little birdie, a little rose with this bird. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Let's just go right here. Because I think with the pockets that I'm going to do on this is we're going to do a side pocket. We're going to put a pocket like here on the side. So our tags will slip in like that. Instead of a pocket here, that's what I think I'm going to do. And then we'll do a flip or a flap. We'll see. Okay, glue down. And I always keep a wet baby wipe by me when I'm doing this gluing stuff and it keeps my hands from becoming just a disaster. Okay, I'll tell you something I'm not liking too much and I want to add a little something to it is right here and all that green right there. So let me see what we want to add. If I want to add another piece of like um, what I want to add. Something will come to me. If I want it to be a napkin or if I want it to be a piece of jelly print paper. I think that's going to, I think that'll do it right there. There's nothing major that I wanted to do. I just wanted to add a little something different. Yeah, that was it. Okay. And then right here, there's just so much green right there, which I know I, I said, oh, that'd be cool to have all that green there. And then I'm like, oh, now I'm like, there's too much green right there. All right. So let me look at something. Um, don't want to do that. I don't want to add jelly printing. You guys know what I've added? I've um, used a lot of my jelly printing up. Do I like that there? Ooh, I'm fretting. I hate when I start fretting. I always tell you guys don't fret. And here I am fretting. Yeah, I just want to break it up a little bit. I don't want to completely cover it. So let's just go like this. Okay. Because there's going to be other things added on top of here anyway, so I don't even know why I'm, you know, fretting that much about it. Okay, we got about five minutes, you guys, before um, this video ends. Um, so let me just keep going till we're about that time. I'll add that in there. Yep, I like that. Another jelly print. There we go. Isn't it funny how you just, you keep going and things just start looking right. All right, now I already know I want to take this napkin with this little watch face. I'm going to cut that out with my paintbrush and water. There we 
we go. There we go. Oh, my brush just fell all in the glue. Love that. Love that. And do I want to put another watch like up here? I do. So let's do another watch face. This is one of my favorite napkins, you guys. Look, I got them a Tuesday morning and I'm on my last little bit of them. And I will be very sad. And I haven't been to Tuesday morning forever. I mean, I doubt I'll ever find those napkins again. They're at Tuesday morning. That's why I always say, and I did buy a lot of them, you guys. I've had them for years because I bought so many. But I always say, if you, especially if you're getting them like a good deal, you get you're getting a pack of napkins for a dollar, like a dollar, dollar fifty, two bucks, even two or three dollars. Buy as many as you can if you really like that napkin, because they're napkins. It's not like you're probably gonna find them again. The other thing you can do though is, and I'm gonna do it, is you can um, make copies of your napkins, and then that way you'll always have those napkins. So I've done that a lot too. Oh, I love that. Okay, we're gonna stop there. And this video is about to do. Okay, you guys, so we did double your fun. We've used uh, jelly prints and we've used scrapbook paper. Um, next thing after this, in both on both pages, in the art journal slash junk journal and in my, um, and in my regular art journal, next we will do, um, maybe some stenciling, we'll do some art making, we'll do some, um, probably add a little bit of paint in here, um, and then we'll do focal points, and um, I'll add pockets to this, so we got a ways to go on both projects, but it's going to be fun, okay? All right, I'll talk to you guys in part three. Talk to you guys later. Bye!